Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all safe and well. If you are new to my channel, my name is Rosina and I create makeup and a bit of lifestyle content here on my channel. Today, I am loving the sun at the minute, but I'm trying to find the perfect makeup routine to make myself feel like I'm summer ready, but not feeling like I've got so much product on my face. So I have been out and bought some new products. I say been out. I ordered it on Selfridges and I have bought some new products to test today and one of them I have seen people raving about for years like I've seen people going on about this product for so so long I am going to be testing out the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Colour Correcting Full Coverage Cream it's also got SPF 50 in it so which is perfect for summer because you need to have SPF in your skin I have just bought myself a sun cream which I have currently got on it's very I'm a bit worried about it um, because it is a very sort of oily or it feels oily on my skin but we're going to see how it wears anyway but yeah I thought I'd test this out I got it in medium because I have fake tanned so I'm hoping it kind of matches we're gonna see I have also bought another new product I was like, I need a liquid blush. I'm obsessed with blush, but I need it to be liquid if I'm going to do a sort of like glass skin summer routine. So I got the NARS liquid blush. This is in the shade Orgasm. I haven't actually looked at this yet, so I'm hoping it looks nice. Oh, look at that colour. Isn't that gorgeous? Just imagine that all over your cheeks and oh, I'm so, so excited to try that one. And I also bought myself the NARS Natural Radiant Concealer. This is the creamy concealer, sorry. I got this in the shade Custard because I thought it needs to be light, but I don't want it so light that, because I feel like this one. So this is my usual color. This is vanilla, which is a bit too light. And then this is Custard, which is a bit darker, I'm hoping. So yeah, I'm gonna test out all these products today. I'm gonna to create a routine for myself. I haven't actually tested this yet, so this will be a first on camera and we will see what happens and whether we can create a really nice makeup look. So if you want to see how I create a, or if I can create a glass-like makeup look for summer, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start with by going in with my Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Base smells incredible but I'm just going to rub this into my skin again this gives a nice glow and it primes my face I feel like it's all about the prep because I like to have my skin looking incredible so it's definitely all about the prep before putting any makeup on so now I'm going to go in with my Dr. Jart uh, tiger grass color collecting correcting treatment if you haven't seen my video on this I'll link it down below and um, but I tested this the other day and it works amazing under makeup as well and I just want to cover some of the redness because I'm not too sure how well this is going to cover because I like to look flawless this stuff is such a weird color I'm so scared of getting it on my dress so I'm just going to take a little amount of this and just put it all over my face this apparently also works as a primer but I don't see any priming properties. I find it more of like a colour correcting treatment, which is why I go in with a primer first, because I like to smooth out my face. So I'm gonna have double SPF on today because I will have my SPF that I've already put on plus the SPF in the CC cream, which I'm hoping I don't have like, like my skin doesn't break out with because I've heard a lot of people with like, this makes me so pale, um, with like sensitive skin breaks out with an SPF, especially a high one. Okay, and I look like a ghost, but it just sort of cancels out all the redness. I really, really like it. Just make sure I don't wipe it down my dress. So now we can go in with our first product. So this says, delivers seven benefits in one. Apparently it's a full coverage foundation, SPF 50, brightening, colour correcting, hydrating, minimising pores and conceals dark spots and signs of ageing. I'm really nervous. Last time I used a CC cream, um, it felt really cakey on my skin 
and I think I put too much on so I'm going to try and go in with a little bit at a time. I quite like the like packaging. It's, oh, it's quite a nice colour. It's quite thick. I was expecting more of like a um, cream. I'm just going to go in with one pump at the minute. I'm scared because I don't want to feel too like heavy on my skin. And I'm going to go in with my sponge like I usually would. And we're just going to dab that into our skin. It smells quite nice. So I'm just, I'm going to just do half of my face for the minute, and then we can kind of compare. It's super lightweight, like that's insane. So I've just gone over one half of my face, and it's already like evened out everything and made me look more awake, like compare that, that's really nice. I also want a routine that I can do for work that isn't going to take me ages. Because um, at the minute, like, I don't, when I do just concealer, I don't like how it looks because I have, like I say, quite sort of different colours skin. So when I just do concealer under my eyes, it just looks like I've got concealer under my eyes because you can see it. So I'm now going to do the other side. This is just with one pump, which is crazy. I like how dewy it is as well. And it just feels like I've got like a cream on my face. It doesn't feel like I've got a foundation on. It's a nice match to my neck. To my hands it's not. Because um, this has all like tanned really weirdly. I think I need to practice tanning myself a bit more. But that was just one pump. So I've used like no product. And it's gone all over my face. Corrected. I do think the Dr. Jart helped. Um, because obviously my redness was already reduced. That is so nice. And like I said, it just, it doesn't feel like I've got anything on my skin. I'm going to quickly go off camera and do my eyebrows and try and make them as natural as possible. I'm not very good at doing it, so they'll probably look the same as they always do, but we're going to give it a go, but I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back, and like I said, I can't do natural eyebrows. I don't like soap brows. I think they look awful on me. Um, so I do this. So we're just going to stick with it. So I'm now going to conceal my under eyes. I'm going to take my Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. And just put that under my eyes. Just because I feel like my other concealers are too light. So I'll end up looking a bit crazy. Just put it in my usual places. You can always build up more. And I'm just going to blend it in. I definitely need colour in my face, like, jeez. I look like a ghost at the minute. And like I said, I need to sort out my tan so it actually matches all over my body. Okay, I can't, I can never go in with just one layer of concealer under my eyes. I have to do two. I don't even make, know if it makes any difference. That obviously it adds a little bit more coverage, but I just have to do this. These hands are embarrassing. Like, this is nice. It's quite a nice tan. My hands are horrible. So now we're going to add the colour back into our skin. I'm going to go in with my Chanel bronzer. I feel like I need to do some, like, more inclusive videos because I feel like the products that I use are very expensive. Um, and obviously I've bought them over like quite a long period of time. If you were to buy them outright, you'd be spending a good a good amount of money on makeup. So I am going to try and find dupes for the products that I use in my videos. That is my aim for like the next month or so. Because obviously I don't want to be spending all this money either. Not obviously. I like spending money on makeup. But it'd be nice to spend less but get the same result. And then we just blend everything out with my sponge. And blend. Blend, 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 blend. I just love this. It just gives like that natural bronzy kind of look. So now I get to try out my new product, which is the blush. I'm a bit worried about this because I feel like you can end up with too much on. I don't know what the directions are on this. 
There are no directions. So I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna shake it to make sure it's mixed. And then I'm gonna pump it onto the back of my hand. Oh, it's pink. And I think I'm gonna use the same sponge that I used for my bronzer and just, oh, it's pink. Always makes me very nervous. Ooh. I had to hold my breath there for a second. I thought I put way too much on, but that is really pretty. And I think by using the same end as my bronzer, it's kind of like mixing into a nice shade on my cheeks. That's so nice. <gasps> That is lovely. Oh, I love that. I love the packaging as well. I kind of thought it looked like a um, nail varnish, which that would be a very pretty nail varnish colour. Obviously, I've mixed it with a bit of bronzer, so it's not so pink, just so it blends together. I'm just going to dab out my under eyes. So I'm going to set my under eyes, not with a loose powder. I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish powder and I'm just going to press that under my eye and I'm also going to set my eyelid with it because I hate it when my eyelids crease I'm only taking a little bit of powder I'm not taking too much obviously because also this is quite a light powder as well so now I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm going to do my usual of going over with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer just to set the Chanel in place. But I'm only going to go over a little bit. Just needs to be lightly set. And now I'm going to go in with my NARS Orgasm Blush to go over where I've blushed. And using these products, like, it's still got a glow on my skin. It's not all set yet. I do have to set all my face just because I have quite oily skin. But you could literally just stop here and then put on some highlighter. Which I'm going to put on some highlighter. I just use the um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This product, if I can get it open. I always struggle with this because I end up with like foundation all over my hands. Got it open, I got it open. And I just take a really big fluffy brush and I just go over everywhere that I want to add some highlights to. And then just to make sure it's all set, I take my Hourglass, this is the ambient lighting powder in diffused light and I just pat that all over my skin and again this has like some glow to it so it doesn't completely mattify me but like I said I need I need to like completely set my face otherwise I end up looking like a grease ball by the end of the day and now this is where the magic happens I'm going to spritz my face with the All Nighter Setting Spray and this will just soak everything in. I'm just going to fan it in. Like I said, I will need glass skin. Is it bad that I'm obsessed with how this looks? Is that a bit vain? But I'm obsessed. I am going to quickly go off camera and then we're just going to finish off and I'm just going to do my mascara and my lips and I'll be back. Okay, so this is the finished look. I went for a very sort of natural kind of look. I've just got lip gloss, not lip gloss, lip balm on my lips and then I've done my mascara and I've also used these. I've been really scared to use these. These are the Eyelaw, I don't know what these are called, Lash Squad. And they're just like individual lashes that you put on. I was so nervous to use them. But I just wanted something a bit more like natural. But I just needed a bit more volume on my eyes. So let me know what you guys think down below. I quite enjoyed using these. I did pinch my um, eyelids a little bit. Because I was using normal tweezers. I need to get like proper 
eyelash tweezers but yeah let me know what you guys think of this down below i am obsessed with this skin i think it looks so nice so summery so i'm very very happy with that if you have enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below comment below any other videos you want to see me do any other products you want to see me test let me know and also if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my upcoming videos like i say in all my videos i am trying to get back into a routine it's just a bit difficult at the minute very very busy but i will get there but yeah i'm gonna sit here and look at my skin for the next like day <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys have an amazing day evening whatever time it is you're watching this i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys